Hey guys, it's Kat, and today we're going to make this adorable Otter Pop holder for your kiddos. It's perfect for the Otter Pops, freezer, ice pops, whatever you guys want to call them. Um, frozen Go-Gurts for your kiddos and for those adult Otter Pops. Huh? So you guys can make him. I have also have other videos of other um, cozies. Um, I will put the link in um, where I have the free pattern. I'll put the link down in the description bar. But let me show you what you're going to need to make this adorable little guy for yourself. Okay, so to make your Minion Little Otter Pop cozy, this is Red Heart Super Saver Bright Yellow. This is Vanish Choice, gosh, like I think it's silver. I think it's just called silver. But any worsted weight yarn works. This is Red Heart Super Saver Blue, uh huh, blue. And Red Heart with Love Black. So black, blue, gray, yellow. You're gonna need your G hook. I can't, every time I G, I just think of a G unit. Anyway, so G hook. Tapestry needle to weave in your ends and some scissors. And then to attach your eyeball, you can either sew it on or hot glue it. I prefer hot glue, but that's just me. Okay, so what you're gonna start with first is your blue. So, your blue and your G hook. Where is the beginning? Here it is. Everything else. Bye bye. Okay, so we are going to chain nine and we are going to start with a slip knot. So you're going to go like so to start. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, pull through, tighten it up, not too tight. We're going to chain nine, and a chain is yarn over, and you pull through. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We are now going to single crochet, no single, bleh. We are going to half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. So, yarn over. And we're not going to go into this one, we're going to go into this one. Yarn over, pull through, and you're going to have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. So that was one half double. Let's do another one in the next chain. Go in, pull up a loop. You have three. Yarn over, pull through all three. So that was one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna do a half double crochet in that same one, but what we're gonna do is start working on this side. So when we go in, we kind of just move our tail into the side and do our half double crochet that way. So now we're working on this side. So we just did one half double crochet in here. We're going to work across. We're going to go into the next chain here. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, they're going to keep getting bigger and bigger with water, Boo Boo Bear. Okay, and we're going to slip stitch to your very first one here. So slip stitch is you insert your hook, grab your yarn, and just pull through like so, and chain one. And while I'm down here, I'm going to weave in my bottom loop. Bottom, um, oops, uh, uh, I'm going to weave in my ends. It's just easier while I'm... Oh, interesting. Okay, so of course my my thing um, <laughs> cut out on the end there. Uh, my kid's playing with um, a bucket of Orbeez with her foot. She thinks it feels weird. Okay, sorry. 
Okay, so we've made our first row of half double crochet and we need to do, not rows, rounds. And we need to do four rounds total. So we've done one round, so we're gonna do four more, I'm sorry, three more rounds. So you're gonna half double crochet in the first stitch you've ended in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, ah, twelve, come on. 13, 14, 15, and 16. You're going to slip stitch to your first one again. Chain one. Okay, so you've done two, and we need four rows total. So do two more rounds, 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 rounds. Two more rounds of the blue. Okay, I'm on my last round of the blue. Okay, and we're gonna slip stitch, but we're not gonna chain one because we're gonna change colors. So slip stitch. So we did one, two, three, four rows. You're gonna grab your yellow. And you're gonna attach your yellow. Okay, so you pull your yellow through your loop and then chain one. Okay, and then you're going to do half double crochet in that same stitch. And then you're going to half double crochet all around, having 16 all together. Okay, so you've done your 16 half double crochet with your yellow, you're going to slip stitch, chain one, and you can slip off your blue, we're not going to use blue anymore. Okay, and now you do two more rounds of yellow, so we did one, we need a total of three all together, so do two more rounds of yellow. Okay, so I've done my three rounds of half double crochet. I'm going to slip stitch my yellow, but I'm not going to chain one because I'm going to attach my black. I'm going to do a round of black. So same, just like we did with attaching the yellow. Okay. And we're going to do a round of half double crochet and don't snip your yellow because we're only going to do one round of the black here. That is the goggles band around the minion's head. So yeah. There's a huge grasshopper around here somewhere and I just saw him flying and now I don't see him and I feel like he's going to eat me while I'm out here. So that's the perks of doing this outside. Okay, so I've done my round of black. We're going to slip stitch. Ah, slip stitch. And we're not going to chain one because we're going to attach our yellow again here, or reuse our yellow. We never cut it off. So bloop and chain one. Just kind of tighten everything here. And we're going to half double crochet. One, two, and we're going to do, again, three rows of yellow. 
So we're going to have 16 around, three rounds of yellow. Oh, I might have just enough yellow, maybe, if I'm lucky. Wouldn't that be something if I just ran out during a video? Nothing like a spiel of knots. Okay. I'm waiting for that grasshopper to come and attack me. So if you hear me screaming, that is why. Okay, so we made it back. We're gonna slip stitch. And this time we are gonna chain one and we're gonna snip the block off. Okay, so do two more rounds. Two more rounds of yellow, of half. Okay, I am on my last round of half double crochet. Okay, Boo Boo Boo, can you watch your YouTube um, somewhere else? Because mommy's making videos and yeah. thanks, that would be great. I'm gonna see what we have to do. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna slip stitch. That's not it. Chain one. And now we're gonna do just a row of single crochet to kind of clean it up a little bit at the top. So a single crochet, so you insert your hook, you pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. Next stitch, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. Oh, it smells like jasmine out here for some reason. I know what we can Nine. Buy. Hold on. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. And sixteen. Slip stitch. Chain one. And snip. Now we are going to work on the eyeball. Okay, so to make the eyeball, you're gonna get your, you're gonna get white. I forgot to tell you guys that in the beginning. You're gonna need white worsted wheat yarn to make your eyeball, shall we? Okay, so we got our white somewhere in here. Where's the beginning? Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, big wad of spaghetti. Okay, there's a beginning of something. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your same G hook and you're gonna make eight half double crochet in a magic circle. And the magic circle is like so. Put your yarn over and you hold it. Insert your hook, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through. So that's the beginning of it. Okay, so then you're gonna do eight half double crochets. So you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through all three. So that was one, two, three. I have a random hair, it's poking my face. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you take your magic string here and you pull tight and you slip stitch to your very first stitch. Okay, and then we're not gonna chain one because we are going to attach our gray. So we get our gray and pull the gray through and we chain one and then what we do is tighten everything up okay and we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch so same stitch single crochet same stitch single crochet so you got two in one stitch so all around you're going to have 16 stitches 
see a theme here, 16, 16, ha, ha, ha. Okay, so next stitch, two single crochets, one and two. Next stitch, oh, next stitch, single, one and two single. Next one, two single again. 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 And for me, for what I like to do, instead of doing two in the last one, I do a single. And then I work in this stitch right here, single. And then it kind of looks um, uniform because when I just do two in here, I get a big white spot mess left here. So I do it like so. Okay, and then I slip stitch to the very first single crochet and chain one. And then I'm gonna cut my white because it's irritating me. It's too tight. Okay, and then what I do is I slip stitch around to kind of give it that pop out look. So slip stitch is you go in your stitch and you go through both like that. I hope you saw that. Okay, you go in your next stitch pull and then you pull through like that. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, and then you slip stitch to your very first slip stitch. Kind of hard. Bloop. Chain one. And snippy snippy. Bloop. Okay, so there's like your little goggle. Okay. Now let's do his little eyeball take a tapestry needle and some black yarn Snip. okay okay and this is how I do it and you guys do it however you would like to do it okay first I'm gonna tighten I'm gonna tie this off because then it's not gonna get in my way and I'm gonna hot glue my pieces on there. You guys can sew yours on there. I just hot glue them, so this is how I just do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. So I go right into the center. Okay. And then I make a knot. Kind of have to hold it a little, hold it a little bit, and then I go back down. You guys can use a bead or a button or whatever. Sorry, that was out of your. And then I think that's a little too, um, too small. So then I sometimes just go back in, okay, and I make another knot. And I go back down. And just kind of makes it a bigger one. So there you go. Maybe one more. Oh, it's breezy out here. So brissy, brissy. Okay, let's just do one more. I'm gonna do this one over here. No, no, not your dare. Gotta go in the center, yo. There we go. Okay. Probably be easier just to do like a thing of felt or. But yeah, I like to make things harder sometimes for myself. 
Come on, where's the little hole? There. Is that big enough eyeball? That's a big enough eyeball. Oh, that's good. Okay. So then, we do that. And then, let's see how long this hair is. It might be just enough to do his hair up here. Okay, so, take strands about this long. What is that, four, four, six inches? So let's cut two more of those. Okay, and then we attach them like so. Okay, and then I tie a knot. And then I skip a stitch, I go to the next one. Okay, and then I skip a stitch again. Go to the next one. And boop. Now, if this is a little too long for you, it's going to get in your little otter pop way. You just snippy snippy. There. Ta da. Okay, so I'm going to go and attach my eyeball with my hot glue and show you the finished product. Okay, so I waved in all my ends and then I realized I didn't show you how to do the mouth. So, I got a piece of yarn here and I made a knot on the end and I'm going to yeah. sew a little mouth on the front. Like that. One, two. And then what I do, since I made a knot, I kind of just stick my needle through there. So I don't have a billion ends to weave in. I just have one. Okay, so there's a part of the mouth. And then... Okay, is that no? <laughs> cool. Okay, so kind of want a little smirk. I'm assuming. Okay, so there's like a little smirky face, and then bloop. Okay, so I'm going to finish my ends and then I'm going to glue that sucker on, but I have to do that in my craft room because I'm outside and I'll have a glue. So, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to attach my eyeball with hot glue, but I want to make sure all my little ends here are all glued together so they don't come apart. And then I'm going to do a circle of hot glue. And I'm going to take my little guy. And ta -da. How adorable is he? Super, super adorable. Look how cute! Okay, let's see. Let's stick an otter pop. Oh, look how cute it is! There's 
Mr. Autoprop Man. There's our minion. I also have a, I'll, um, I've also made an evil minion one. And I'm going to put down in the description bar the link to all these little patterns. I've made a few of these on the channel now. So, But every time I make a different one, I add it to my library of my free patterns on my website. So I hope you guys make him, adore him, share him, show me how you guys made him, how cute he is. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!